Every Christmas, the city of Bethlehem welcomes a wash with tourists and Christian pilgrims alike, as the city was the birthplace of the Christian prophet Jesus Christ. However, in the wake of Israel's war against Hamas, the main road to the ancient city has been cordoned off, leading to an eerily quiet scene in a place usually a buzz at this time of year. The main road into Bethlehem is closed. What is normally a simple 20-minute journey from Jerusalem now takes over an hour as cars queue to get through the one Israeli military checkpoint that is open further south. It's been like this since the war began, and it's just one way that life in the West Bank has become much harder for Palestinians. In Manger Square, the shops selling Christmas decorations and souvenirs are mostly closed. This shop has been owned by three generations of the Tabash family since 1927. They haven't done any business for months, and even during COVID say it was never as bad as it is now. We are almost two months without any business. We open every day because this place is part of our heart, part of our history. So we come here, me, my father, my brother, to greet the people, to stay, to drink coffee, because really this place is part of our heart. The Church of the Nativity, normally heaving with tourists and pilgrims, is quiet, even during a Sunday Mass in December. A few Palestinian Christians attend the weekly service and pray in the grotto where Jesus is said to have been born. But the excitement and joy of Christmas is absent this year. For the Christian world, there is nowhere more synonymous with the Christmas period than Bethlehem. But this year, out of protest of the Israeli actions in Gaza and in solidarity with Palestinians, there will be no celebrations in Bethlehem. For the first time in living memory, there will be no Christmas tree in Manger Square. A few hundred meters away through the market and up the hill is the Church of Lutheran Christmas. Inside, they have made a crib of rubble and laid in it a baby wrapped in the black and white Palestinian kafir an image that has gone around the world as a sign of the suffering in Gaza this Christmas. The world is celebrating Christmas right now in different ways, with joyful celebrations, lighting of Christmas trees, uh, celebrations and events. But in the hometown of Christmas, this is what Christmas looks like. Um, children being pulled from under the rubble, uh, displaced families, destroyed homes. Uh, and so we hope that the world pays attention to the plight of the Palestinians, to our suffering and for the need and the urgent need uh, for justice in this land and the very urgent need of a ceasefire. The Holy Land is a place of hope and miracles for many and they'll be praying for a ceasefire here this Christmas. But amid the echoes of Gaza, the sounds of war and the images of death, peace feels a long way away. Alistair Bungle, Sky News, 